I'm coming in loud and clear. Might hear me on the radio. Breaker, breaker, one nine. Anybody got their ears on? Hey guys, it's Eric. Hey, this is part three, two, whatever. This is the second most asked question on my video called Why You Need Shortwave Radio. Now, this question had to do with what type of antenna do you recommend? And I guess I didn't cover that at all in the first video. I was more um, urgently telling you that it's probably a good idea to get a shortwave radio, and it is. But it does make a huge difference. The antenna that comes with most of the radios that you buy is going to be about that long, and, um, and it's going to pick up some of the stronger stations in your area. But a lot of the comments that I got that I had to kind of clarify on were, I, I have a shortwave and no one's transmitting or no one's on it anymore. And that's just not the case, but I think a lot of times people just aren't picking up the signals. What uh, most guys that get into shortwave radio do is they get themselves what's called a long wire antenna. And this is as simple as this. It's very inexpensive. In fact, for a lot of you, if you just have it laying around, it might be free. You need an alligator clip, and you're going to hook that alligator clip to a small gauged or thin gauged wire. And it could be 10 foot, 20 foot, 100 foot, whatever it is, anywhere in between. Obviously, the longer, the better in most cases. And you're going to take that alligator clip and you're going to clip it on to your um, shortwave radio antenna, the one that comes with it. That will get you such an increase in the amount of stations you're going to pick up because the shortwave is, is, is out there, but it may not be right here. So having a long wire allows you a whole lot better signal strength coming in. Now, for those of you who are CB radio fans, you have probably already learned that with a transmitting antenna, you have to have it you know, within a fraction of an inch on that band in order to transmit properly. The good news is with shortwave, you don't have those worries. So any amount of scrap wire that you have hooked to a shortwave radio antenna will give you extended incoming range. You're going to hear more stations. Now, I'm a cheapskate. I normally do not recommend uh, purchasing something uh, when there is a free or very cheap version of it in the case of the long wire antenna. But I will say from over a year now of usage that the MLA-30 or 30 plus antenna, which when I bought it was $30, I think, and I just looked tonight, they're $35 on eBay. That is one heck of an awesome shortwave antenna. It is small, right? It's about 36 inches, I think, at most, maybe, maybe less than that, and it's a loop you make, right? It comes with everything. You just need to provide um, a mount, a piece of a PVC pipe or a piece of pipe that you can attach this thing to. But it is a pre-amplified antenna. The amplifier is mounted right to the loop. And uh, the signal, you would think with uh, an antenna that's maybe three feet versus an antenna that's, that's 100 feet, that this thing would not be able to compare. But because it's pre-amplified, because it is a high quality amplifier in there, the signal that actually comes into your radio is really, really crisp, really good. I have done many tests in the last year and a half. I use uh, a beam antenna that I would normally use for CB, which actually does do a pretty good job at picking up shortwave. I have used a 100-foot uh, inverted V antenna as a long wire antenna for receiving shortwave, and I have used the MLA-34 receiving signals. And of the three, plus stock, but that's not even you know on the table at this point, of the three, the MLA in my area has outperformed all the others. The, the bigger part of the outperforming is not just that it picks up more signals, but that it doesn't pick up all the interference. Here's a, you know, I got a light above me and uh, it's, it's incandescent, or I'm sorry, it's fluorescent tubing. That can give off, uh, you know, noise, noise in the radio bands. Solar can give off uh, noise in the, in the bands, and I have a solar set up here. So there's a lot of things that can cause interference. A refrigerator running, an LED lamp, all these things can cause it. And I found with the long wire antenna, I get tons of signals, and they're loud. They have a higher gain on the, on the meter than uh, the MLA does. But what it also has with that gain is a whole lot of static and a whole lot of garbage that also is being amplified and brought into the radio, where the MLA does seem to have a much better job of just pulling in the signals you want. So, uh, you know, it's not a terribly long video, but those were the, the questions I've been getting, and they're great questions. Again, I really, really appreciate the amount of engagement that that video had. I think it's awesome that we're here talking about this in 2022 and that no matter what side of the political aisle you might find yourself on, I think it's something that if we can't agree on it, we should be able to agree on, is that uh, free speech is paramount to what made our country great and what will keep it that way. And since that's being squeezed a little bit, we need to find ways around it, at least temporarily, until, you know, until the storm passes. I guess that'll do it for tonight, my friends. I'm Eric. It's uh, 
good getting to know the new members here and good talking to new people and always good to talk to old friends. Take care. <laughs>